Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul, who is 82, which is pretty crazy, right, has been arrested for a DUI. So House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband was arrested in California this weekend and charged with drunk driving. Paul Pelosi, 82, was nabbed just before midnight in Napa County, California, and charged with one count of driving under the influence and another for driving with a blood alcohol content level of .08 or higher, according to public records. The California Democrat's husband was booked at around 4.13 a.m. Sunday and released a few hours later at 7.26 a.m., the online records show. Pelosi's bail had been set at $5,000 on the two misdemeanors. His arrest was first reported by TMZ on Sunday, and more details surrounding the incident were not immediately available, and it's unclear if Pelosi was driving alone when he was arrested. Which, you know, it'd be kind of funny, and like, a sad way as well, if he got arrested for a DUI for like, like, his passenger, if he did have a passenger, was a, a very young lady of the night, to say the least, because... I wouldn't put it past him. So Napa Police and Nancy Pelosi's office did not immediately return requests for comment from the Post. In a statement to ABC News, her office said, The Speaker will not be commenting on this private matter which occurred while she was on the East Coast. The Congresswoman was in Providence, Rhode Island Sunday to give the commencement speech at a Brown University mere hours after her husband's arrest. Graduates, you are our hope, she told students. We know this. Hope is the most powerful weapon against threats against democracy. We should have hope because we believe in America. And we should have hope that Nancy Pelosi actually gets fired from her job eventually. <laughs> One way or another. Because like it's, it's amazing that she still gets voted in. So while giving her speech... One person yelled, we need gun control, and another shouted, criminal, at her, according to the Boston Globe. Paul and Nancy Pelosi have been married since 1963. Now, that's a very long time. He founded and ran Financial Leasing Services, a successful venture capital company, and the two amassed an estimated personal fortune of more than $110 million dollars, by 2018, according to Open Secrets, a nonprofit that tracks money in politics. Which, by the way, money needs to be tracked in politics because the amount of freaking politicians that are getting filthy rich while they are politicians is disgusting. So the couple has five children and split their time between San Francisco, part of which Nancy Pelosi represents in Congress, and Washington, D.C. Paul Pelosi keeps a relatively low profile, but has been in the news the past year over his stock trades. In March, he bought $2.2 million in Tesla stock as some in Congress proposed banning lawmakers and their spouses from stock trading. And critics on both sides of the aisle think trades like Pelosi's present a conflict of interest, given that Pelosi and other lawmakers have access to sensitive information and are responsible for enacting laws regulating businesses. And, like, the way that these congresspeople end up getting involved into stocks, into companies, is crazy. Like, if you were to actually, like, look at some of their trades that they have to actually report, and how bad they are actually reporting the trades that they do in a timely manner, you start to see some really shady stuff with every single congressperson. So let's actually get into the comment section on this article. Bayman 50 Kel undefined. He will get away with it. Most likely will not even be brought to court. Maybe a minor fine, and that's it. No loss of driving privileges. No loss of his driver's license. No time in an alcohol rehab program. In other words, laws for them and laws for us. And here's the thing, right? Like if you are driving while under the influence of alcohol, you are for sure probably 
an alcoholic. Because to get to the point where you're actually driving under the influence of alcohol, there's a lot of in-between between taking your first sip ever to driving while drunk. Okay? He's above the law. I'm amazed he was actually arrested. Good for the Napa Valley Police. They enriched themselves at the taxpayer's expense, but they can't afford a driver. Probably needed privacy and anonymity to get his grind on at the strip club. It would have been more fitting if he had been in a single car fatal fatal accident. Pelosi and her husband are extremely corrupt and they are now worth $200 million when they were essentially broke 30 years ago when Pelosi started in Congress. Can you say bribes and insider trading both Pelosi should be in prison for corruption. $200 million. Nancy slipped two real estate deals in the stimulus bills for his company, one of which was worth $1 billion. I would drink too if I had to look at that old battle axe every day. 82 and driving at midnight, was he on his way to breakfast? Living with old Nancy, I would expect him to be inebriated at all times. If he was the average 82-year-old, they'd be looking to take his driver's license away just for being old, and on top of that, he's drunk, and all he's got, uh, all he'll get is a scolding. Praying for a red wave, November. Nancy could have called the Air Force to take him home. Must be from living with her. You gotta have a nice, strong stomach to put up with nasty Nan for all those years. Medal for valor and a strong drink. With her as a wife, I would be drunk every day. Well, I guess they were soulmates. Both are incoherent drunkards that are only relevant because they're compromised and have to act out their parts according to their handlers. Tired of the BS drama they call our government, I wish someone would cancel them like they cancel any other network show. I know I don't listen to anything that comes out of DC anymore. Lock them all up. An 82-year-old should not be driving at 4 a.m. anywhere, much less drunk, but if you were married to that thing, dot, dot, dot. Democrat under the influence, throw the book at him. Should have hired a him, Chinese spy chauffeur, like Diane Feinstein. If I drink alcohol, I would also probably stay tipsy, having to put up with a spouse of the character of the almighty Nancy Pelosi. And regardless of my political views, this woman has literally ruined America because, if not mistaken, the Speaker of the House is the third most powerful person in the government. Friends, please don't take this out of context because I so love our senior citizens dearly, but we don't need a bunch of 80-year-olds running our country. How in this world can one grown man stay married for 59 years to Nancy Pelosi? And doesn't Nancy claim to be a devout Catholic? If so, then their belief is pro-life, period. When I read about this, I thought that it was a belated April Fool's joke. Maybe SNL can give a good skit about this story. Well, that's a shame. They should be arrested for felony corruption. And here's the thing, right? Like This is like a really disturbing thing, right? Because... If she truly was a devout Catholic, and the fact that she is so pro-abortion, okay, like, because that is what she is, she is pro-abortion, being a devout Catholic and being pro-abortion does not mix at all. You can't be a devout Catholic and be pro-abortion, okay? You can't do that. You could be a normal average person who is pro-abortion or you could be a normal person who is a devout Catholic but you cannot be a devout Catholic that is pro-abortion like because it just completely gets rid of your views on religion on life on so many factors right and this isn't a political talk this is like a literal it doesn't match your morals Right? Because if you're a devout Catholic and you got to protect the unborn, how can you possibly be pro abortion where you kill the unborn? Right? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, morality speaking, morally speaking, 
it does not match up. So that's why, uh, like, that part alone, where she claims to be a devout Catholic and be pro-abortion, you should have anyone just look at that, look at her, and be like, how fake of a human being are you that you can't even stick to one moral ground? Like, one, like, line of path that you're actually going to take. It's basically like saying, hey, guess what? I'm a carnivore, but also I'm a vegan. That doesn't make any sense, right? Like It literally does not make sense. Because you can't be a vegan and a carnivore at the same time, right? Like It, it doesn't match. So, feel free to give your thoughts. I thought this was a pretty interesting article because it's surprising to see someone with so much wealth, so much power, so much government influence not being able to blatantly get away with driving under the influence, right? I mean, I don't think he's actually going to really get, like, punished, punished, but he probably, like, the fact that he even got arrested is shocking to me because the amount of power that his wife has is disturbingly high. If you want to learn how to get out of debt and master your money, go to 4 dmboxcom Stay tuned for more commentary about various news information.